So many clusters of flowers, it's amazing. So a few people's been asking about my citrus trees, and I figured I'd show them. There ain't really much fruit on them, there's only one on one of them. But um, I'm growing them in containers. Here is my mandarin clementine, and it's blooming away, and it threw off this long top arm, which I'm going to be air propagating soon. I'm going to try to keep them nice and bushy like this and blooming. Lots of blooming on them right now. And then I have a, over here, shading my lettuce a little bit, is a Sanasuma orange. It's a awurl, awurl, <laughs> something like that. It's a nice tree. It's got new growth and it's thrown off a few blooms. I trimmed it last year, so. And then over here we have the improved my lemon um, right here, this one is, and it has a lot of blooms on it too, and uh, it's growing in a container too. It actually has two in it. The other one is a normal uh, Myers lemon, and it's also blooming. And uh, it's growing two in one. And um, here's this bushy thing in my way. This is, uh, what is it? Uh, a kumquat. This is my kumquat tree. It's actually blooming right now too. And when I bought it from the store, it already had fruit on it. Which I usually try to do that. I always try to buy the trees with fruit on it already. And I kind of look for shape of the tree of how I want them. Here is my, um, this is two plants grown in one container. It is a key limes, which I've showed these a lot on YouTube. Uh, they're starting to bush out. One of them didn't do so good with water. I mean, uh, winter, I think it's because I didn't water it as much, but it recovered nicely, so. And we actually did get a, some cold, cold weather this year in Texas. But uh, as always, it blooms year round and it's, it's taken off real good. Uh, all new growth on it, all it's new. And then uh, this one right here is from seed, so I don't know what it is. <laughs> Here's my blood oranges. So I just picked one this morning and it was really bright. If y'all are, are on Facebook, you can check it out on my page. So again, I'm growing two in one container. And these are all grafted trees, the ones I'm showing. And uh, they're blooming and uh, getting big too. Not only is it coming this way, it has many arms reaching out back. So it's turning into a big tree, but it does produce. I noticed in a five gallon bucket, I can usually get five big oranges. Uh, this year I put it in this big container here, probably 30 gallons, 35 gallons, to uh, hopefully I'll get some more oranges. And it's blooming a lot more than it did last year, so. It's growing really good. And then, uh, this is a new one we have. I uh, bought a bunch of new ones this year, really. This is a um, tangerine sunburst, and it is loaded with fruit. I mean, it's like this everywhere. I mean, let me come down here and show y'all. Check them out, just tons, and it's like that everywhere. Just everywhere, just fully, <sighs> look right in here, right? There's a good example, so. That's, it's just amazing how much this thing can bloom and produce. I mean, it's just cool. And then behind it is a dancing tangerine. And I'm guessing they call it dancing because the way it grows. And it is dancing everywhere. <laughs> but um, it actually has a couple blooms on it. Uh, it was a younger tree. Um, it's still a graft, but it was really smaller compared to the normal ones I buy. So it took some time to grow. But it's coming in nice. And then we have the grapefruit. I'm so glad I bought it too, because this thing loads down with flowers. So many clusters of flowers, it's amazing. I mean, it's just, and they smell so wonderful. It's so wonderful. 
I recommend the grapefruit. It's amazing. So I mean, it just tons of bloom, and they're pretty. They're really pretty. The bees often wander in here and get lost and wind up dying because of them. They get stuck in the greenhouse, and it's uh, grafted. And then I put a um, Hamel L Sweet Orange. I'm an LA sweet orange um, in the pot with it. So I don't mind if it like crosses or whatever. I don't I ain't gonna grow them from seed or nothing. So if we get up where it tastes the one, it's just you know <laughs> it's citrus, it's a fruit. And uh, this type is self-pollinating. So as you can see it is loaded to I'm gonna have a lot of fruit this year. I'm glad. So it's a basic rundown of the ones I got in pots. Um, wide range of trees. I do have some from seed, but I'm not going to show them today. just wanted to show um, basically the ones I just got and the ones people have been asking about because I've been posting pictures. So, there it is. Citrus. And I'm waiting on this one to ripen a little more. Hopefully it'll uh, be soon. Talk to you later.